ever wondered why some individuals effortlessly draw people in while others struggle? Welcome to the art of seduction. Today, we delve into the enigmatic world of the siren, a character who exudes an irresistible allure that leaves others entranced. The siren isn't just a mythical creature luring sailors to their doom with her melodic voice. In the context of seduction, she represents an individual, regardless of gender, who possesses an enchanting charisma that captivates an audience, be it a single person or an entire crowd. This magnetic charm, this ability to hold attention without seeming to try, is the siren's true power. Let's take a journey through time and explore some famous sirens who've left their mark on history. Cleopatra, the last active ruler of the Ptolemaic Kingdom of Egypt, was renowned for her seductive prowess. She didn't rely solely on her physical appearance but used her intelligence, political acumen and undeniable charisma to captivate two of the most powerful men of her time, Julius Caesar and Mark Antony. Fast forward to the 20th century and we have Marilyn Monroe, a pop culture icon who embodied the siren's allure. Monroe wasn't just a pretty face on the silver screen. She was a master of her craft, using her charm, talent and vulnerability to create a persona that continues to captivate audiences, even decades after her untimely passing. Both these women, from vastly different eras and backgrounds, shared a common thread the ability to captivate and command attention effortlessly. They harnessed their unique qualities, their strengths, and even their flaws, transforming them into powerful tools of seduction. So, what can we learn from the siren? It's not merely about physical attractiveness. It's about harnessing your unique qualities and using them to draw others in. It's about being comfortable in your skin, understanding your audience, and captivating them with your charm and authenticity. Remember, the siren's power lies in her ability to captivate and draw attention effortlessly. Now let's delve into the world of the rake, a master of intense desire. A character that stands out in Robert Greene's The Art of Seduction, the rake embodies a personality that is irresistibly appealing. The rake's most potent ability to create an intense desire, a magnetic pull by focusing intensely on the person they are trying to seduce. Imagine a person who makes you the center of their universe, whose gaze seems to penetrate your soul, whose words whisper sweet promises of undying affection. That, my dear listeners, is the rake for you. One of the most intriguing aspects of the rake's art of seduction is their ability to make the object of their affection feel special, unique. This isn't a superficial charm or fleeting flirtation. It's a profound, all-consuming passion that makes the person on the receiving end feel like the most desired being in the universe. An example of this from the book is the infamous seducer, Casanova. Casanova, a man of many talents and even more lovers, was a rake par excellence. He didn't just seduce women, he made them feel like they were the only woman in the world. His charm, his attention, and his passion were all laser-focused on his object of desire. Each woman he seduced felt like she was the only one who mattered, the only one he wanted. And that, listeners, is the power of the rake's intense focus. The rake's art of seduction lies in their ability to make others feel intensely desired. It's a game of passion, of focus, and of making the other person feel like they're the only one in the world. It's about creating a bubble where only the rake and their object of desire exist, where everything else fades into insignificance. In essence, the rake's power emerges from the intensity of his desire, making others feel desired and special. The rake's art of seduction is in their ability to create a world where the object of their affection is the star and they, the rake, are the adoring audience. Such is the allure of the rake, a master of intense desire. Have you ever met someone who seems to fulfill all your dreams and desires? Welcome to the domain of the ideal lover. The ideal lover is like a chameleon, shifting their colors to match the deepest desires of their chosen one. The key here is understanding. Understanding that every person's needs and desires are unique, 
then using this understanding to create a perfect reflection of those desires. The ideal lover, as depicted by Robert Greene, is a master of empathy. They possess an uncanny ability to intuit unspoken wishes and dreams. They are not merely reacting to the words or the stated preferences of their target, but rather they are tuning into the emotional undercurrents, the unvoiced longings that often go unnoticed. Let's take a trip back in time to the French court of Louis XV, a theater of seduction. Here we find an example of the ideal lover in Madame de Pompadour. Her ability to play to the king's fantasies made her an irresistible allure. She was not the most beautiful nor the youngest woman in the court, but she understood Louis XV. She knew his need for a refuge from the burdens of kingship, a need for lightness and enchantment. Madame de Pompadour crafted herself into the embodiment of this refuge. Her wit, her charm, her intellect, they were all part of the captivating persona she created. She was the king's dream realized, his ideal lover. The power of the ideal lover lies not in physical attributes, but in psychological ones. They are like a mirror, reflecting back an idealized image of their chosen one's deepest desires. They make their target feel understood, valued, and desired. This power of understanding and reflection is their most potent weapon of seduction. So remember, the ideal lover is not about deception, but about perception. It's about sensing the desires that lie beneath the surface and bringing them to life. It's about becoming the dream that others long to realize. So the ideal lover's power springs from their ability to perceive and fulfill the deepest desires of others. Lastly, let's explore the enigmatic dandy, a figure who seduces through ambiguity and uniqueness. The dandy, unlike any other character, is a master of mystique. Their charm isn't rooted in overt displays of affection or grand romantic gestures. Rather, it lies in their ability to be different, to be ambiguous, to be something that the world cannot quite put a finger on. This uniqueness creates an air of intrigue that draws people to them like moths to a flame. In a world that thrives on conformity, the dandy stands out. They reject societal norms and expectations, choosing instead to live life on their own terms. This rejection of the common and the ordinary is what makes them extraordinarily attractive. They are like a breath of fresh air, a splash of vibrant color in a monochrome painting. They are the ones who dare to be different and it's this courage that makes them irresistible. Take, for instance, Oscar Wilde, one of the most iconic examples of a dandy. Wilde was known for his sharp wit, his flamboyant style, and his refusal to conform to societal norms. He was a man who danced to the beat of his own drum, and it was this uniqueness that made him so captivating. His life was his canvas, and he painted it with bold strokes of individuality and non-conformity. The dandy understands that attraction is not just about physical appeal. It's about creating an aura, a mystique, an intrigue that leaves people wanting more. They know that to truly seduce, one must first capture the mind. And so, they weave a web of fascination, their unique and ambiguous nature serving as the bait. The dandy's power doesn't come from their looks or their wealth. It comes from their uniqueness, their ability to be different, to be mysterious, to be intriguing. They are the masters of the unexpected, the kings and queens of unpredictability. And it's this unpredictability this refusal to be anything but themselves that makes them so alluring. To wrap up, the dandy's power roots in their uniqueness and ambiguity, creating an irresistible aura of intrigue.